Glad to have you with us. What a beautiful weekend. And now this. I know, the rain, the cold. It's... But you know what? I think Syracuse needs a big gulp of water. This is probably yeah, good. You know, fun. they had a hot weekend. Yeah, bad air quality, right. a fire threat. We I need mean, some rehydration. We're not the yes. desert. <laughs> yes. We have trees and grass. They do need water, yes. But we also have to deal with some colder temperatures as well. But it is about time that we get back to reality. It's not summer, even though it's felt like it. So we are going back to normal springtime temperatures for today. Highs will be in the 50s once again. And we'll even be cold in the overnights with snow possible for some locations. Then we are looking ahead to another possible warm up by later this week. So let's start with this morning. Quite a bit of rain here on the weather deck. It is widespread across central New York for this morning. Even some moderate pockets of rainfall at times. But for the most part, the thunderstorm activity we had much, much earlier this morning, you have, may have woken up to some rumbles of thunder, has now headed out to the east and really weakened quite a bit. All of this rain, though, is along a cold front that's rolling through, and that's also going to bring us a big drop in the temperature for today. Notice the cold front is pretty far away from the center of this weather system, which is on the other side of the Great Lakes. That's going to keep the rain over us for today and even heading into tomorrow as well. So we have a little bit of a messy situation on the way. Notice we're in the upper 40s here in Syracuse, but we are tracking a big drop in the temperature on the other side of that cold front. Notice it's in the 30s and 20s on the opposite side of the Great Lakes. That's what builds in for today. Already seeing quite a change across the state. Looking over by Albany, we have some warmer air in the 60s. Here locally in Syracuse, we're in the 40s. But then over in Buffalo, dropping down into the low to mid 40s. So that cooler air is now beginning to push its way in and it stays over us for today. So starting off with some steady rain this morning, temperatures will be in the upper 40s over the next few hours. Any of that steady rain starts to head out after sunrise. We get some breaks of sun midday, temperatures around 50 degrees, then climbing into the mid 50s this afternoon with mostly cloudy skies and the chance for a couple of scattered light rain showers, but lots of dry periods the second half of the day. Monday night, it will be cold enough to see some snow mixing in with the higher elevations only as we drop down into the 30s, heading into early tomorrow morning. So it will be a chilly start to the day and still seeing scattered rain showers on and off through the day Tuesday, but mixing with snow still for those higher elevations once again Tuesday night, even into Wednesday morning. But by Wednesday afternoon, any of that snow tapers off to afternoon sunshine. In total for snowfall, only expecting a coating in the hills, maybe up to one to two inches in the Tug Hill and Adirondacks. Now here's a check of your seven day forecast. 50s today with rain showers, mixing with snow at night tonight, again Tuesday night, but tapering off by Wednesday. We'll be in the 40s Tuesday, 50s Wednesday, then warming up by the end of the week. 60s Thursday, 70s for the weekend, along with some scattered storms Friday and Saturday. Plus a big cool down for the second half of the weekend. Amanda.